She was up for two awards herself, Best Female Athlete and Best Female Olympian. Unfortunately, she did not win in either category. Still, there is so much to her besides competition. Denver 7 sports anchor Allison Mastorangelo talked one-on-one -on -one with Michaela to get a bit of taste of what it's like life is like to be an Olympian. Coming home to Colorado, it's a perfect place for me to do my workouts. This is a tale of an Olympic journey. When you walk into Michaela Schifrin's family home, the first thing you'll notice, all the pictures up on the wall of Michaela and her brother. Michaela's love for skiing started when she was a little girl. She turned her passion into a career filled with lots of success out on the slopes. You get to walk into your house and then you just get to see all of your... Well, we, we overdid it a little bit for you guys. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't actually leave out the, the medals when just like yeah. on, your, on a daily basis. From the trophy display, we moved on to the kitchen. What does an Olympian have for breakfast? Oh. Professionals. Well, I think there's a whole variety of things, but that like... It's not everybody's preference, but I'm pretty straightforward. I like kind of an all-American breakfast, just some eggs, some toast, maybe some bacon. But pretty much every single morning, I have two eggs and two pieces of toast. All right, so we've seen the kitchen. We got a tour of the house. Now, you know, let's go to Michaela's part of the house right here. Her room. Let's see if she'll let me in. I'm just talking to her. <laughs> Michaela? Oh. Oh, it's fancy meeting you here. <laughs> nice I didn't to meet expect you, you today. That's I so wasn't nice prepared. To <laughs> Should we take a look? Would you, we... Welcome. All right, let's check Come out the Come on in to my, here. <laughs> to my house in the house. As we were walking into her room, I noticed more wards hanging in her bedroom. But something she doesn't put on display and really open up about her love of music, which started when she was five years old. So what I do is I listen to song, like my favorite songs and I try to learn them on the piano or on the guitar, play by ear, and just think about like how I can make it sound some sort of like an acoustic or instrumental version of the song and it's just kind of fun to see how it sounds. Oftentimes it sounds better to me than it actually does. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so good right now, <laughs> and then I'm not. So once we wrapped up the tour at her parents' home in Avon, it was time for Michaela to show us where she spends a majority of her time, at least four to five days a week, in Michaela's corner at the West End. Normally, I have two sessions in a day, and the afternoon session is some kind of interval, so it might be sprinting or bike intervals or something else. In the morning, I mean, I could be in here for basically two to three hours. This year, Michaela says she's had a full two weeks off for vacation. She doesn't get a lot of downtime, but she doesn't feel like she's missed out on anything. She just wishes she had a little more quality time to spend with her friends. Because once summer hits, that means her season is right around the corner. Winning a third overall globe is definitely on my goal list. Winning the slalom title again. Uh, I haven't won the GS title yet, but I've been close. And I see myself competing for the next four years for sure. 